extraordinary. The very word sends a shiver down your spine, like a lightning crack and a thunder roll, or an eagle's cry and a lion's roar. Extraordinary. Isn't that what we all want to be? More than what we are, more than what's expected. To be someone special, to do something indescribable, be incredible, outstanding, incomparable, unfathomable, extraordinary. What is extraordinary? A mountain is extraordinary, yet what does it do but stand against the sky, risen from the earth? It doesn't have to do anything spectacular to be extraordinary, it simply is. The sun, a floating ball of fire suspended in space is extraordinary for being nearly what it is. The rush of a stream, the roar of a waterfall, both deemed extraordinary. Even creatures are among the extraordinary. Birds and beasts, predator and prey, why? Why are these objects and creatures and forces of nature so extraordinary? Because God made them so. What if I told you that you are capable of extraordinary? Because if God made extraordinary things and all things he made are extraordinary, shouldn't that mean that we are extraordinary? After all, we're all made by God, loved by him, created in his image. In fact, we're called his children. Extraordinary, incredible, outstanding, absolutely. Don't you see? We're all capable of being extraordinary. So get up, go, be who you want to be, do what you were made to do, rise from the ashes, put a smile on your face, take on the world with strength and grace. We're ready, ready to be more than what we are, to be all that we can be. We're already extraordinary thanks to the power of grace, but it's through the power of grace and the power of the cross and the miracle of redemption that we can be made so much more. Let the world know that they're special, they are incredible, they are extraordinary. Do marvelous works for the Lord who made you extraordinary. Be extraordinary. Not only be extraordinary, but your own kind of extraordinary. Go and be extraordinary.